So this is a very brand new the Institute for the Brain, Mind, and Cancer Research Institute. I am the head of the center. So today, the starting from the selection by the Novitarians and also the gene and also that's uh, uh, the cell divisions. Now I will have a complete different topics. So I myself was a psychiatrist. So I have been the professor of the psychiatric the department until two years ago. So I was the expert of that people with the depressions. So I was treating that people with the depressions and I was doing that research for many years. Here, as been shown here, there are two projects I'm working on. One is my the expertise area. So AMED so got us, gave us the support, and we do this AMED depression research project. So I, we are the core center for the study on with depressions. And also, last five, six years ago, this would be the sixth years, Center of Innovation. So innovative programs. So we got the subsidy from the Ministry of the Education, Science and Sports. So this is uh, the core center for the Kansai Innovation Project Center. This is uh, completely different from the Depression Research Center. So this is more study on the uh, exciting or work, work feeling. And so we try to visualize it and try to implicate it to the industry as well. So there are two projects running. So today, so I will make a very the, uh, presentation brief. And uh, since everything is going so fast, so maybe I shouldn't cut my presentation, but anyway, so I'd like to share some of my information with you. And so that's uh, uh, the title is the visualization of Kansei using neuroscience. So what is Kansei? We often the word the polishing the Kansei or maybe the sharp Kansei, but what is Kansei then? It's probably very from person to person and different way of using it. So, on the, on the other hand, Kansei, we don't have the proper English word to be used for this. So there is a feeling or maybe that's uh, the emotions, but something similar, but but what we call Kansei is a bit different from those. So, like a wabi, sabi, or maybe very sensitive feeling. So, it's a bit different from the, uh, uh, the affections. So the awareness of self-affection based on past experience and future prediction may be difficult to understand it, but this is, you know, if it is negative, I can't say, for example, people are living predicting what comes next. So even the people here, Probably you probably expect something. And so prediction of, of expectations and what you have experienced in the past and comparing with those, if those doesn't meet your expectation, you are disappointing. But if there is anything more than you expected, then you have excitement. So based on the past experience and predict the future, and then you notice something, then 
So this is a kind of self awareness of self affections. So the concept is more than just anger or sadness or, you know, uh, that is concept is more sensitive and subtle. A negative concept is like a depression, or then when you predict it and you have anxiety or anxiety disorder. And the positive can say is when you predict it, then something good will happen based on or compared with the experience in the past. So then something good should happen, then you feel very wak -wak exciting. Or maybe your heart beats. Or if it is more than what you expect, then you feel a kind of accomplishment. So this kind of concept, the emotional study has been done for many years, but and also be done in globally, but concept itself. Uh, probably this is very Japanese original perceptions. So in uh, neuroscience, and also the psychiatry or psychology perspective, and also combined with the neuroimaging so to visualize just the activity of the brains. So using the MRI, so you can find it at any hospitals. Using those MRI, you can see the activity of the brains and so neuroimaging. And also, there's a, a neuro act brain activities. And using the sensing, the various data are collected. And then using AI, then this can be utilized based on the neuroscience and they visualize it. So instead of just a subjective evaluations, but we can put it to or change it to the objective variations. That's what we're looking for. So the negative can say the related disease is uh, depressions. So depressions, in, this is data from 1996. So these are the people who came to hospital to see the doctor. So actual number of the patient probably is much more than what is being shown here. So, it, but anyway, for those who visited that, the doctor is about forty thousand. But last thirty years. After the birth of bubble economy and the globalization and advancement of technology, then people are suffered by the change of the uh, work style as well. So more than one million people are visiting the doctors. So the potential is probably higher. So probably 5% of the people are depressed, or maybe, but maybe the uh, as a ratio, maybe could be some among you, but maybe no, but maybe no depressed person are here. But anyway, the worst case scenario is they commit to suicide, and then the government is taking measures to prevent uh, committing suicide, but still, even. The sixth uh, times more of the death from traffic accident is actually is committing suicide. And then, then also, that's to give more burden to the medical expenses and they cannot work. And think about those then that we are losing about $24 billion. And then those people are actually is uh, um, working generations. Of course, that dementia and so on are for the, uh, the elder citizen, but actually for those medical expenses covered by those working generations. And if those people 
cannot work due to these depressions, and if they commit suicide, then the countermeasure for the dementia is important, but also the countermeasure for the depression is also very important, and that is one of the objectives of our study. So then the issues in the uh, uh, medication, uh, medicine related to the depressions. There are many mental clinics in Tokyo as well. They are just counseling or asking questions, and then they do a kind of the test, psychological test, and the subjectively they come up with the diagnosis and then criteria. But in the brain, there's um, the characteristic factors and also there are some are weak in stress. So and genetic background are not reflected. And then those kind of the, and during the development of this network and weakness of stress probably be um, built. And then one day, the person is severely exposed to stress. But then current, the uh, treatment and diagnosis is not based on the pathologies. So the cancer, for, on the contrary, they do the test and then they come up with the proper uh, the, uh, drugs, but not for the depressions. So what we are doing in Hiroshima University is what we're doing here. So, for the depressed pa patient with the depressions, with the cooperation with the clinics in the city. So when the patient comes, then we go, our team goes and talk to the patients, and then getting the acceptance, and then having the informed consent. Then we ask that them to come to take MRIs, and then check with the biomarkers, and then we do the test again. And which part of brain and what happened in those, so not only a cell, or, but the brain is more complicated, and then very complicated pathways are there. So where it occurs, or where this disorder occurs, have to be find out. And so using the AIs, so they have machine learnings using this technology and the, the huge amount of patient data when those accumulated. And then not only the symptom, but also other uh, data are accumulated and added to the computer. And then by that, then they analyze the pattern by using AI. And based on that, the, the uh, neuroscience and try to develop the method for the diagnosis. And when the cases is accumulated, then it's going to be a big data. And then that will be the uh, diagnosis based on the pathology using AI and also brain data or neural data. So since we can we can visualize those uh, data on brains, so we can see this function is lowered or hyperactive. So the patient can see. And then the patient can also be trained to elevate that the uh, lowering part of the activities, or maybe the control, the one of, of hyperactive. So maybe they can do the neurofeedback uh, trainings, and this is under the uh, development of the clinical, tra uh, clinical study. So then this is the uh, neurocircuitry relevant to depressive symptoms. So the depressive mood and also loss of the, uh, uh, the, the feeling of doing. So this kind of abnormal of this area in the brain. So if they are lost interest, then so they lose uh, motivations. 
and also the QSD. So they use a PET and then the, we do the core research. What kind of the change in serotonin or dopamines? And they start to be uh, clarified little by little. And collecting all these data in a subjective way, we can find the causes of the depression and also can uh, provide the diagnosis. Then those data, when those data accumulated, then here, you might think, what are these? But here, these are the brain data of the patient, and also if the patient have any the child abuse or trauma, like a bullying so and so on, or neglect. So if the patient has such an experience, so this is subjective, but ask the patient to score it if they have experience or not. And then this is this activity of the uh, brain, regions, so to rank the, uh, the data, so which should be done by a, the person in charge of AI. So accumulating those data, then we can create the patterns by color, low to high. These, the red circulated, is area, they validate the symptom of the uh, depressions, six weeks or six months and so on, the, after medications, then they evaluate the respondents of the, the drugs. So then top one, which is the drug is not taken, so the healthy volunteer. But this is a patient with depressions. About 3,000 data we extracted, and then we see some patterns. So these three patterns. This is the, the drug work, work, and not. So the stress at the time in child, so if they do have the child abuse and trauma scale high, this would be the patterns. And then probably has very, very close relationship with the response to the drugs. And they measure the MRI they use the uh, brain activities by MRI, then high, low, high. Then efficiency related to the uh, child abuse and also the part of the uh, certain regions of the brains. So by analyzing these, then we come to know. So we have normally the hypothesis and the hypothesis driven and verified. That's how we did it in the past. But data driven work. So without having any bi bias, and we try to see and then read the data by using AI. So then looking at this example, those non responder to the depressant, then they have a high stress in the childhood and also high activity in brain, in regions. Then if they measure in advance, then we can predict that they are no responder to the drug. Then the patient doesn't have to take the drug which is not required, so, or they don't have to do trial and error of the drug to see. So then, if we know it in advance, then we can start a different approach of the treatment instead of just give the drugs. So then, while they are trying this drug and that drug, and then the easily three to six months passed and become very difficult. So this is more schematics, but the patient with the depressant. So since we are diagnosed by subjective perspective, so young or maybe there's a senior depressions or maternity blue, ex 
the patients, those are who are maybe who are maybe the weekday depressions, can they call the depressions because they are very fine when they are off the work. But still, they are diagnosed as a depressions. So look into the some brain functions and also the, the biomarker from blood and using AI. And then if there is any common patterns that can be detected, and then based on that, so you can see then the brain activity and network, high, low, high, or maybe the child's time abuse, trauma, score, high, high, low, or these are the, the antidepressant doesn't work. Then for those who have a high the, uh, brain network and also high the uh, child abuse and trauma symptoms, then the drug doesn't work. So maybe if we can know this in advance. This is article on newspaper and press list in last year and then October 23. Today I also received that email. So, so in the, uh, the NHK Science Zero came to have interviewed me, so this will be on air in the February 3rd on the uh, 11.30 p.m. So if you take a what if you watch it, then you can get a little more detailed explanations. So now I'd like to talk about the innovation by positive say. So this is completely opposite. The original offering is since we are so materialized and then rich, then why still there is uh, dep people with depressions? So the smartphone is available, and then things become convenient, but still the lack of communication and people become that's a depressed, so it become mental health. So not only the innovation for the materializations, but we also have to think about the innovation uh, considering of the happiness of the mind. So now we are working with Matsuda, the automotive company. So, so visualized the uh, emotions or brain functions. And then as a tool so, um, for the brain-emotion interface and to realize the, uh, the society with the uh, tolerant minds. So it might be a bit difficult, but uh, originally the basis for the concept is that there is emotions or feeling on the top of that there is a concept. So this area of the study had been accumulated and then behind the brain were so that says the inter, inter, integration of the, the uh, sensation is at the uh, temporal of uh, the octopal and also and then therefore the emotions uh, the affection is for this uh, the deep green so the insula is related to this insula and then just by the brain and the integrated and controlled this is a frontal lobe so the affections, mechanism affection is actually interoceptive perceptions. So that, uh, for example, the organs, feeling of the organs goes to the brain. So the heart beats or maybe this, uh, those are called the interoceptive perceptions. And then the insular information, and then compare with 
there's a past experiences and then prediction occurs, then there's a, the uh, affection occurs. So then if the, you feel some kind of the reaction of the uh, organ, then you feel anxiety. But if you actually do it and you don't have any problem, so if there is a gap in between, so there is an error of the predictions, then there is a findings. And they became the sign network, and that will create the cancer. And by learning that, and then that will be accumulated. So, so the sensitive information, and then the and the emotions occurs, and then we image next what's going to happen next, and then predictions, and if. That's a different information comes from the sensors or the organs, uh, the perceptions comes to the brain and predictions, and then the, the affection comes. Then, if there is an error of the prediction, then there is a kind of silent uh, the notification. Um, you notify it, or you recognize it. Then, so by checking this, that we can make it. So this is uh, the three axes. So this is the uh, comfortable, uncomfortable, and this is uh, arousal, and also this is drowsy. And then for the predictions for future, and also past recollections. So this is three-dimensional. So then predicting the futures, and then the, also the arousal is high. So then this can be measured with this three-dimensional method. So taking it in MRI and also the uh, brain wave, and then if we can do it in a more wearable EEG, and this is a subject, and see the images, and then this is a data, and then the brain, which part of the brain is active, and then this is a meter of the Sabakwaku excitement. And then we try to implement it to the automotive and let it move. And then we link with the in our institute to see. So this meter we created in the institute, it will be uh, implemented to the car. And when they are excited, it's red, and if not, in blue. So let's see, this is a trial. So when the car it goes straight, but then when they are count down, so now, if it is straight road, then they are bored. But the cellar room, if they have to do the windings, if they repeat several times, they like to do it better next time. So then they start to be more uh, excited with the countdown. So then during the countdown period, then the person can predict. And then this can be used with the uh, implementation with the uh, car and then that will be read by car and then change the, uh, the uh, drivability, operability of the driving. And then when the car becomes um, absolute, then the uh, accumulated data can be taken as a chip and then, imp and then uh, bring it to the new car as well. So this kind of things is actually is used in the various other businesses, so such as like a Hiroshima Gas or a Beer or understand the bakery shops or maybe other the printing companies and so on. And as a Hiroshima University, the negative cancer data are gathered now, and also the positive data is now under collections and try to make a big data. Then we can apply uh, using the AI in the various areas. So it can be used for the human development programs. And that's how we are working at the moment. So thank you for your listening.